I'm gonna show you the Sanda Sancho sidekick. But one technique uh, that is unique to the Sanda sidekick, okay, I'm gonna show you is what we call heel slaps. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the knee up this way, and my knee's gonna stay in this one spot here, and my hips are this way, okay? Now when I slap my heel, okay, what I'm gonna do is slap my, put my hand here, I'm gonna slap the heel, turn the hip over. So my hip goes from here, and it goes down. Hips here, hips down. But my knee stays in the same spot. Now another thing that's happening at the same time is my rear foot is shut, is, is pivoting. So I go like this, two, two, and we go on the clock with these, okay? Sometimes you go one or two minutes, and you're really working the power of the, re of the leg, the rear leg, pivoting at the same time, the heel, okay, the hips are going from up to down, up to down, so the hip is turning over. So from here, I can really chamber, pow, pow, okay, two, two, slapping my heel, my he knee is staying in the same spot. Another thing I can do is bounce forward, bounce forward, bounce forward, so you can work and try to work that range. Okay, those are called the heel slaps. Great drill, straighten the hips for the Sandow Psychic. And it's a long range kick. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting, okay, a foot over the reach from my front leg. So I'm actually out of range here. I'm not in punching range. I want to get used to throwing this kick from long range. That way it becomes a very sudden uh, long range weapon. You can see a marker here, the blue tape, so you can get used to, uh, so you can judge the shuffle, okay? Because the shuffle is a very important part of the kick here, okay? So again, I'm a foot over, and what I want to get used to doing here first is the shuffle. I'm going to come in, okay? And my rear foot takes place of the lead foot. So from here, rear foot takes place of the lead foot, and I come back, okay? So from here, rear foot takes place of the lead foot, okay? And I thrust out, okay? And back to this position, okay? So again... Rear foot takes place, the lead foot, I shuffle out. Okay, I'm over my distance. Okay, I get used to moving again, the foot, I'm always far away here, and that shuffle closes that distance. That's what makes it sudden kick. Okay, shoot straight out. Okay, another thing is not how, only how the kick comes out, but it's how you finish. When I throw this kick out, I don't want to drop my leg down like this. Okay, if you drop your leg down, you make this easy to catch. Also, you can end off in a bad position. So, if I throw this kick, I want to come back the same way. Okay, and be back at my fighting range or out of... Uh, out of getting punched range, okay? So I'm here, boom, I come back, okay? So not only am I shooting in, but I'm shooting back out. Okay, I get used to shooting back out. Okay, you can also double up on this kick. Okay? Um, you want to train your body so that you can follow up with the cross, okay, or the rear hand, okay, so I don't want to kick and end up backwards, okay, where you can get attacked and you end up in a bad position, okay, I want to train, okay, keep my guard up and be able to throw a cross, okay. so you want enough flexibility, strength in the torso and your core to follow forward with a cross and come back to your optimum fighting range. Okay, one important thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that when you chamber the kick, okay, one important thing you want to do is you want to make sure that when you chamber the kick, okay, you shuffle in, okay, the shin is perpendicular to the bag, so it's straight in to the bag. So the bag is here, the shin is perpendicular, so I'm here, and the shin is perpendicular, okay? So it's straight out, okay? And it's almost like the shin is a piston, okay? Coming right in, the knee is in front of me here. The shin is perpendicular to the bag and straight out, okay? 
Okay, so that's what makes somewhat very subtle difference in the Sancho style side kick versus other styles. Some styles you see throw side kick thrown like this. Okay, it's almost kind of a round kick or a snapping ha ha karate styles. Ta, a side kick like this. You don't want this. You don't want the shin this way and the foot going that way. Okay, it's kind of like a like a round kick but thrusting the heel out. The Sanda side kick is a piston. The shin is perpendicular to the back, okay? So again, from here, okay, thrust it right out. Okay, another thing when you throw the sand out side kick, you want to make sure that you don't get backwards, okay? What do you mean by getting backwards? You don't want to throw your kick and then end out this way, okay, where you can be attacked from the back and not protect yourself. So you got to develop the flexibility, of course, and the hip strength to keep yourself forward. So one thing you should try to do when you always uh, practice your side kick is to follow it up with a cross. Okay, that way you know you're rooted out from your rear leg. Okay, and you got that protection. Should your side kick uh, not hit its mark. Okay, you wanna follow up, okay. Of course, you could set up the side kick with a jab is always good, okay and follow it up, end off with the punches. Okay, so always follow hands and feet. Once you master the side kick, uh, work the side kick to the punches, work the punch to the side kick, flow it up and down. This is my range here, I'm one foot away from where I'd be. So I'm kind of out of punching range here, but I would use this to sometimes set up my punches, okay? So a sand dog kick, what I'm gonna do is come in first, shuffle, and that little shuffle is what I'm working here. That shuffle has to be quick. I don't wanna go one, one, two, three. I don't wanna make it three movements, I wanna make it two. So it's one, two, okay? Two movements, one, two, okay? Often, this kick is uh, good to use as, uh, as a counter. If he throws a round kick from the rear leg, Okay, I come right down the middle, okay, straight, often beats round. This is a great uh, technique to use against the real leg round kick. Again, okay, let's go again, there you go. Okay, of course, the lower the kick is often the most effective. If you hit to the torso, okay, it's better than hitting the upper chest. Again, he goes again, round kick, okay, one more time, there you go. Okay, if you switch his sides, okay, he's the other way, same thing, he goes the other round kick from the rear leg. Okay, I'm going right down the middle, I'm using the shuffle to close the distance. Okay, the shuffle has to be quick, again. Okay, I'm actually reacting to what he's doing. The second I see him make that move, okay, I beat him down the middle. The second I see him make that move, okay, again, the second I see him make that move. One thing I might want to do is rather than just come straight out, is I want to use like a jab or something to set it up. Bring his guard up, boom. Okay, I bring his guard up with a jab. Okay, and I use that shuffle. Again, I'm on the outside here. Okay, the shuffle has to happen fast. Okay, another thing is I got to keep your torso facing your opponent. You don't want to throw the kick and turn this way. Okay, you throw the kick and turn this way, he rushes in forward, he knocks you over, you're not ready to fight. Okay, but in order to do that, you have to train your hip strength, um, your flexibility, of course, to get this leg up. But I want to be able to, from here, be able to throw that straight punch from my, off and throw my lead leg. Okay, be able to follow up with whatever. Sometimes I can throw this and follow right forward. Okay, so that's throwing your punches right after your kicks. Okay, another thing is I can throw this as a combination kick. Okay, I throw, maybe throw a snap kick like this. Of course, it's not a power kick, but okay, but that can also become an effective kick okay, to, to, uh, to score, to land a gut shot. Ideally, the most effective place to hit this kick okay, is right in the gut. Okay, the higher you go, you get into the chest. Okay, the chest is protected by a lot of bones, doesn't have a lot of effect. All right? So another thing I could do is change the angle of this kick, okay? Changing the angle is, right now I'm going straight in, okay, I step with the rear leg. Okay, I step with the rear leg. So he may come at me and say with a straight punch, 
Okay, or a straight punch. Okay, I'm stepping with the rear leg, and from here, I'm shuffling forward. Okay, if he switches his stance, this side is sometimes ideal when he throws that switch. Okay, because then I end out in his backside. Okay, it's not enough psychic. <laughs>